guys, we're at 5D, also known as Nautilus. Um, it's going to be a hard, uh, hard to grasp what all they have here. You see all these buildings here. They also have several, several greenhouses throughout. Uh, we'll get a video probably driving out. Maybe we even walk that area. Um, we got somebody that's going to show us around here. How's it going, Brandon? Brandon, that's nice. Nice to meet you too, Teddy. Okay. And we're here with Wes. Uh, he's here to get some uh, fish for the 500 gallon tank. We got set up at the Magna. Um, he's setting the tank up. He's going to be taking it and setting it up somewhere else when we're done with it and buying it. Uh, let's go take a look at these fish. Okay. Oh, we, we'll see it all. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see not all of it. We won't have time for that today, guys. <laughs> Now he was told not to show us any of the secrets, so what, what we see and what we can't see, there's even more than that here. Okay. Okay. Guys, this is the import house. They got a lot of new stuff in yesterday, so uh, there's going to be a lot to see today. This is our They're experimenting, experimenting with some of the mollies and stuff like that to see uh, how they do in the fresh water stuff. All right. So, all right. Uh, we, yeah, we, uh, we buy them in saltwater a lot of times, the yes. black mollies. Yeah, uh, yeah, do you guys sell them in saltwater? Uh, no. No, they're all fresh Yeah, they're all fresh water. Uh, but I don't say personally, I've always done them in saltwater before. Okay. Uh, all right, guys, this is all their brackish. They got, uh, let's see, archer fish too? Archer fish is here. Okay, archer, archer fish, fish, scats, scats uh, pea puffers. Mollies. Uh, this is, uh, they're actually experimenting with the mollies in the practice right now. This is one of their trade secrets, so keep it on the down low. <laughs> uh, we're fixing some of the, uh, more side now, like the pickles and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, and Wes, you said this is your favorite room here? Alright. Be careful with the floor. Uh, we'll see more. Some Bangkok flower horns uh, up top here. Let's take a look at these guppies real quick. These are the ones they just got in, import from Bangkok. There's some empty tanks because Wes is buying all of them. This is one of the fish that is safe for them to have a packet yet. So okay. They'll come and get it, you know, it's one of the uh, royal plecos. There you go, Wes, one of your plecos that got packed. This is going to be one of the guys that's going in the uh, 500 gallon tank. You get to see it in its housing first. This is its temporary home. It's going to go in that 500 gallon and then uh, hope we find a real nice home after that. Yeah, this is Lots of like those here, guys. Hey guys, they got some real nice imperial plecos here. There's better shot out here, they all scattered out. Uh, 
water in this thing. RO water on this wall here, guys. They got discus in here. We're taking real good care of them, making sure that they're in nothing but RO water, nice, soft, and uh, keep them well fed. They look pretty fat and happy here. Guys, we're going to building number five where they keep a lot of their exotic stuff. How many different buildings are out here? Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, four, 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 Goldfish and all that. They call that the big room. As you can see, it is a very big One room. One big open room. <laughs> yeah, from the outside it looks like five, but it's definitely all open up. Uh, four of them all open into each other. Armor crabs or something right there? Oh yeah. Oh, crabs <laughs> yeah, go in and get a good good uh, view of that. Alright, we'll walk around. We'll start over here. Alright. That's all these trees in the sea. Just a few hermit crabs in there, guys. Cory? I'll pass the Cory. Uh Been an Asian red tail catfish in here, guys. He's trying to hide. There we go. <laughs> See him swimming around in there. Here's some of our Asian fish. Uh, these are the Peru's. Careful for me. Okay. Odo sinkless, guys. We got several bins of these. The rest of all of this guy is photo sinkless. That's how many they go through. Okay. 
So All right. Right. young ladies that move around everywhere. Absolutely. Uh, down here we have some particulated knives. African. Those are nice. It's a really, really good fish. There's some of them that are slighter than the other ones, but they're saying, where'd my tube go? <laughs> We got our frog frogs, all kinds of frog frogs. A bunch of frogs, guys. Good, good uh, view right here. Marijuana's over here, guys. Yes. We Check just these guys out. Just a little bit of Those are nice. We'll pull one up in the back. Part of the part of the you know, whatever. But find those anywhere. Like, watch your step. We got a few red crabs here, guys. Got a bunch of shrimp up here, guys. Guys, Halloween's coming up. We got some vampire shrimp in here. Let's see if we can get a good view of them. Might be hard to see in the video. Blue if you guys like blue lobsters, these things are bright and vibrant blue. Are these snow or they're not going that way? I think those are just um, some leftover eggs, I think. We have a lot of the blue lobsters. Oh, yeah. Hyphen banded lunches over here, guys. Those are uh, good size ones there. Excellent for ponds. Five well. inch. Uh, maybe good for the ponds down here, back in Ohio. You might want to. <laughs> Uh, bring them in in the winter at least. <laughs> All right, guys, draw me, and I see some glow barbs over here. Hey, guys, you got to come check out the elephant nose. These guys are uh, pretty cool. They're uh, trying to hide here. <laughs> Get them out in the open for you guys. You think all the stores we supply? How do we supply all the stores? We get these fish in sometimes three times a week. Three times a week. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Here's some larger ones. They're very nice. Got those in last night. So, what do you guys mostly farm? Uh, we're known for glowfish. Glowfish. That's one of the most one of the things we farm here is our glowfish. Okay. Um, and we do pretty much the bread and butter fish. We do a lot of catchers, a lot of the uh, breeders, uh, uh, the um, breeder fish. Uh, okay. Not really fish, but the uh, egg layers. Egg layers. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Here's some dolphins. Oh, wow. You think dolphins? What? <laughs> they got a dolphin face. Yeah. They'll slow down a little bit. They swim like dolphins, too. 
Yeah. We can slow it down in the video. Yeah. Now they supply a lot of people, guys. So many people, if you didn't catch it earlier, he said they get shipments in three times a week a lot of times. And I'm assuming they're pretty large shipments. Yeah, especially Wednesday night is our biggest. Okay. Um, we get in like uh, Peru, uh, Colombia, sometimes Bangkok, and all that comes in on Thursday or Wednesday nights. Okay. So, but we're short two countries this week. We didn't get to Colombia, we didn't get our bank. Uh, so, when you say shipment three times a week, that's not three different places. That's three days a week, and each day is multiple places. Yeah, multiple places. Okay, multiple countries. Here we have Barani and Giza. Giant kissing Barani. They're not giant, but that's them. Um, <laughs> they usually come in like really big. Uh, we can use our duckies. This is some uh, dip tail fish. They're very nice size. They're usually really, really small. Those are some nice ones. Banjo cats. A bunch of banjo cats. Yeah. Make them bark too. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I hear them in there. I feel the vibration in my hand in barking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's two of them there. <laughs> so cool. You guys hear about the ants from Florida? They're everywhere. Yeah. And they bite. <laughs> yeah. We have what they call ant traps, and they're all in the online. Rainbow peckers? Rubber plecos over here, guys. Oh, nice. Go for the bird. Particularly nice. I think we already seen those. Those are some nice ones there. Mm -hmm. They're called the tigers. They get, they get to be a pretty good size. Those are some sexy fish. Yeah. Alright, let's go into our big room now. Yeah, you guys said it's okay to uh, video here. You don't want any of your secrets out. But while you guys are getting stuff ready for him, is it okay if we kind of walk down and just show show the outsides of the rooms through the the drive here? Just show how much is here. Yeah, you can do that. Walk down, show. You can do that, and okay. you'll, there's the, we got more over there. But uh, you can stand at the end of the driveway and film all that. You know? Okay, cool. Our lab, our lab is over there in a the trailer. That's our lab. Okay. Uh, so you guys do a lot of testing out yes. here too. Okay. Yeah, if they find a fish that needs to be uh, examined real good, they'll take it over there and they'll do uh, uh, examine it real good, you know, and more or less do an autopsy. Nice. What's going on. Okay, cool. They don't have to treat the other fish. There we go. Um, Crowfish. Yeah, that's what we Wow. All these are low fish. Maybe there's a few galamis and a few other fish mixed in here, but this is the green glow fish there. That's the tetra. Um, this is my hand. Look how this the light, the sunlight shines in there on them. That's what it'll look like in your fish tank with a light above. It's best with the blue lights. All down through here. What we call the big room. <laughs> these are our blue ones. A lot of, a lot of love fish. Right up, come this way. Fill all of it. You need to eat the fudge. 
it's not working that great. It's literally not working at all, so. All right, guys, you see me here? See this facility? See, these are some cichlids that we have here. Uh, this is the Oranuses, some of them. Uh, they're mixed in with some glowfish, apparently, here. <laughs> Compatible? Who knows? It looks like they're doing fine in that tank. Uh, see, there's some blue, here's some pinks, purples, mixed in together here. Um, these look like the same construction as those concrete sinks you have in yes. a lot of older home yes. basements. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. These things were built many, 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 many years ago somewhere. It's like jamming up for some reason. But it'll adjust itself and we're fine, but yeah, it does that. Some of our uh, uh, butterfly koi. It's a mix. Very nice color. A metallic koi like this, you're able to see them a lot better in the pond than you do this regular regular koi. Absolutely, they stand out. This is the number one seller right here. This is one everybody likes to get in their storage. Because they're able to house them better in the fish tanks. Yep. And sell them. So that way. The bare ones are sold when they have indoor ponds and stuff like that. Mixed in with the calicos. <laughs> Hey guys, we're not the only ones that order stuff and it doesn't come in. When it happens to us, a lot of times it can be because it happened to the supplier. Yes. Uh, they had a bunch of stingrays that were supposed to come in today, didn't show up. Didn't show up. You know, there's a lot of things that are out of our control, there's a lot of things that are out of their control. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and 
Tadpoles turned into the frogs over here, guys. There's some crawfish in here, a lot of crawfish. Still got the tail. They have these cleared out and ready for stingrays, guys. They did not come in. They're prepared for a large shipment. A lot of koi guys. So pretty much so everything in these green tubs was koi, goldfish, and feeders? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are regular goldfish or I had to adjust it, you know.